Clarksville family sees a Christmas dream come true for them today. Private First Class Harmony Jackson has been away from her family for seven long months training out of state with the military. Well, today she surprised them with a trip home just in time for Christmas. Fox 17 News Jackie Del Pilar there for the reunion, live by some awesome Christmas trees with a story. Yeah, both Private First Class Jackson and her husband are in the military. He is based in Fort Campbell and takes care of their two young children. Now today, he thought he was taking the kids to take pictures with Santa, but they had no idea who was waiting for them behind Santa's chair. It's time to meet Santa for the Jackson family. One-year-old Brielle and three-year-old Brock aren't oh, too okay. keen on jolly old St. Nick. Hey, Dad Sergeant Luke Jackson is smiling, but can't help but think about the one person missing from these photos, his wife, Private First Class Harmony Jackson, who's stationed out of state. Um, it's been hard. It's been very difficult. Anybody that's, you know, been away from a spouse or um, is military that's got kids, they know it's difficult. But behind that door, Maddie Mitchell has their Christmas wish ready and waiting. Mitchell started the nonprofit Liam Changed the World, spreading joy to families in honor of her late son. We always say we like to make people feel the way he made us feel when he was here. Maddie knows things look a little suspicious with our cameras. Get me, baby boy. So she gives the family their first surprise, personal gifts picked by mom. So we went out and we bought all those presents for you through our foundation and donations. And then the biggest present of all. Yeah, I think that this will be really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> the Jackson family reunited just in time for Christmas. Like I almost was so speechless, I wanted to freeze, but I just wanted to grab them and it's like, yeah, who do you grab first? I wish I had arms big enough to just grab all of them. Little Brock's tears are replaced by the wonder of his hero before his eyes. Mommy, <laughs> Yes, I'm coming home, baby, okay? And dad, he didn't suspect a thing. You know, I couldn't be more thankful for, you know, this whole, this whole process and that's, that's the best Christmas present I could have received. The family plans to spend the next few weeks spending as much time together as they can, hugging each other tight and experiencing the magic of Christmas together. ...of debris and right behind me what used to be a standing home. We lost our son in uh, April the 7th of 2016 to cancer. These are items that can't be replaced. Valuables that neighbors found through the debris, all before returning them to this family. For him to walk all over the woods like that, to, to bring these back to us, to spend that amount of time, these are things that we cherish. Peggy and Mike Ortis have called this place home for more than two decades. They tell me it's been a safe haven for their 20 grandchildren over the years. Memories lost. This after a powerful tornado ripped through their home over the weekend. Yeah, we would have been wiped right out of the end of the house. And that's the silver lining through all of this. Artist says they went on a trip the day before the storm. An empty home for the first time in years. I almost insist that she go on a trip to Philly with me. For whatever reason. Artist often travels for business, but his wife always staying back with the grandkids. Love you because 99% of the time I would not have been out of town with him. It would have been me and my grandbabies here. Artist telling me she was craving a Philly cheesesteak and decided to go on a whim with her husband, this time to Philadelphia, bringing an empty suitcase to shop around, but this time coming back to an empty home. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Wow. Artist tells me they're currently staying in a hotel, but they plan to return home in a camper in the coming weeks. This while they start the rebuilding process. If I had to be in a cardboard box, you know, I, I just want to be here because this is home. This is, this is our home. Well, the Beacon Center of Tennessee is showing you where your top tax dollars are actually being abused and even wasted, and they do it by proving it in 12 different examples. The 2021 Tennessee Pork Report is an eye-opener. 
To give you an idea of how this impacts taxpayers, we'll start with Governor Lee's Tennessee on Me initiative. Tennessee on Me? This push basically paid tourists and vouchers to visit the volunteer state costing $2.8 million. It's hard to understand who came up with this idea to give out of state, you know, out of state people who are visiting Tennessee tax dollars for hotels and airfare. Mark Cunningham with the Beacon Center says this is an example of what the government should not do. He says others include more than a billion dollars toward Blue Oval City, which brings for production to Memphis. $20 million for a water park in Jackson, similar to the money spent on the Opryland water park. And 810 grand for a new performing arts center in Clarksville. But topping the list, Metro School's $18 million no-bid COVID contract with Meharry Medical Ventures. I've been here about 10 years. It's truly one of the worst examples of pork I've ever seen in my whole life. Fox 17's extensive coverage on this issue brought to light millions of tax dollars being used on a COVID contract with no bidding process taking place and the district getting little in return. No bid contracts gets, into, gets us into a lot of trouble. Fran Bush with Metro Schools has been against it since the start, so she was not surprised when she found out this was the worst offender. I expected it to happen um, because there's been so many questions surrounding this, this uh, $18 million no bid contract. Questions also also surrounding the money the state has spent and plans to spend with your taxpayer dollars.